Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. As you know, many people are prescribed statin drugs like Lipitor or Crestor to reduce their high cholesterol problem as this helps to reduce risk of heart attack and stroke. In fact, in a recent survey, it showed that over 25% of U.S. adults over the age of 45 reported the use of a statin drug in the last 30 days, a roughly tenfold increase over what was happening during the period between 1988 in 1994. So there's been an increase in the number of prescriptions being written for these statin drugs. Now one of the undesirable side effects of statin drugs is muscle aches and muscle pain, which occurs in about 11% of uh, patients using these drugs, and some reports say it's as high as 25% of patients. But with 4% of patients reporting very severe muscle pain. In fact, it's so severe it makes them want to stop taking the drug. Now to make things worse, Muscle pain related to the use of statin drugs is often made worse or triggered by exercise. And this is quite paradoxical in that exercise is also an important way to reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. So across society, we're trying to get people to exercise more. So to tell people on statin drugs not to exercise to avoid severe muscle pain seems very counterproductive. So in recent years, researchers have looked for the cause of statin drug-induced muscle pain to see if they could find a way to prevent it. And what's been discovered is that taking three vitamin supplements along with statin drug therapy shows tr tremendous promise in reducing the drug's muscle pain side effects. So the three vitamins are coenzyme Q10, vitamin E, and vitamin D. So the reason these drugs may help is because statin drugs not only block the synthesis of cholesterol in the body, but they also block the synthesis of coenzyme Q10. And this leads to a deficiency or a decrease in CoQ10 in muscle tissue. So a decrease in CoQ10 then inhibits energy production in muscle tissue, produces higher levels of free radicals that damage the muscle cells, creates what's called mitochondrial dysfunction where you can't produce enough energy. And it also allows the muscle membrane to leak products out of the cell into the surrounding environment. All these factors together are associated with increased muscle damage and muscle pain and are made worse when people exercise, as exercise puts an even greater demand on the muscle's energy system and creates even more free radicals. Secondly, the increased free radicals that occur in the muscle from statin drug use cause an efflux or an exiting of the amino acid glutamate out of the muscle cell. In turn, glutamate stimulates pain-sensitive nerve endings around the muscle, which also causes an even greater amount of pain to occur. So studies show that taking vitamin E supplements can stop the muscle from shuttling glutamate out of the cell, which prevents the pain from occurring via this mechanism. You see, vitamin E supplementation gives the muscle cells more antioxidant protection to quench and neutralize free radicals generated from statin drug use. As such, the muscles don't feel the need to pump the glutamate out of the cell in the process of making their own antioxidant, which is glutathione. Also, studies show that individuals with low or suboptimal uh, vitamin D status are more inclined to have drug-induced muscle pain. So when these indiv individuals get their vitamin D blood level up into the more ideal range, which is above 75 nanomoles per liter through supplementation, they often can resume statin drug therapy without feeling muscle aches or muscle pains. So vitamin D has many positive effects on muscle function and integrity, and so it stands to reason that adequate vitamin D can help maintain muscle cell integrity under the challenge of statin drug therapy. So if you've been prescribed a statin drug, it may be wise to take 90 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10 a day, as well as 200 to 400 IUs of vitamin E a day, and to get your vitamin D blood level checked. If your blood vitamin D level is below 75 nanomoles per liter, then it may be wise to take an extra 1,000 to 2,000 IUs a day of vitamin D until you get your blood vitamin D level into the more desirable range. Now remember that you should always check with your physician before taking any new supplements is there can be contraindications to the use of various supplements in certain cases. So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.